History was made last week in Cancun, Mexico, as the WBC held the first ever boxing convention for women. In this corner, TV was there to be part of this groundbreaking event, and here is what those in attendance had to say about the significance of giving female boxers this platform to improve their part of the sport of boxing. Female boxing is a reality, and the level of competition, the level of quality, the level of technique is unbelievable. We have been uh, working very hard with this uh, division of our WBC, which is a female boxing, and we're so proud to see today what female boxing is about. This convention really started, the thought of it, many years ago with Jose Suleiman. It was his dream to have a convention for women. He was one of the most amazing man that I've ever met in the sense that he never judged by race, religion, gender, anything like that, economic condition. He believed in talent and it bothered him that the women were not getting the same kind of worth that the men were. So he was a man in his 70s at that time and he was concerned about it because he was raised with the same cultural influences that we all were, but he respected the rights of women's athletes to get what they should get and got more and more into it as it progressed. But he did it slowly, always with the consulting with the medical community and making sure that he was doing the right thing. But he loved women athletes and he was very proud of his athletes. So this is really his dream that we're doing it. Unfortunately, he's not here with us to enjoy it. This event is amazing. Um, I was saying in the convention earlier, I was at the 2006 Night of Champions um, in Cancun uh, with Jackie Neva, Ana Maria Torres, Leila Ali, um, and Laura Serrano, and Sharon Años. There was only six of us then. And yesterday when I got up on stage and I, I did the welcome from the current champions um, in English, to see the sea of people and how many champions we have now and how far women's boxing has, become, has come in only eight years is incredible. It's such a surreal feeling and, a, and an amazing thing to see. And uh, to be a part of that, uh, right now I don't even think it's hit me how it actually really, how big it really is. So it's, uh, it's kind of an incredible feeling and an incredible thing. Well, this is the first ever uh, all women's boxing convention. Uh, the WBC didn't really start sanctioning women's fights till like 2004, 2005. Uh, what that means is uh, they, the girls could not fight for the WBC title. But I thought that was really great. But to have this convention is very historic. And hopefully it will spark the interest uh, in America to have more women's uh, fights on the major boxing uh, cards like Top Rank, Golden Boy. Uh, also, the uh, problem is, is that we lost a lot of our local promoters, which is tough for also for the male fights. So that's another issue that, uh, another problem that the inactivity of women's boxing. I'm so happy to be here for this auspicious occasion. It's what I feel it is. Uh, I've been boxing for 20 years. I've seen the difference in the sport. When I first went into the sport, I actually have uh, can say that I was at the first USA Nationals for women as an amateur. I won the featherweights in that Nationals. So I've seen the sport grow, but I don't feel that it's grown enough. It has grown a lot more on the amateur side, which is definitely what we need. We need more women in the sport, but it's not grown on the professional side. So this convention is that platform that we need to for us catapult the women, the sport, to a higher level. It allows all the women to get together, network, talk about what issues we can do to bring it to a, a higher level. Um, the significance is just, it's an unbelievable, substantial step in what we're doing in the sport. To see the WBC step up and try to do something for the betterment of female boxers, it's fantastic. Well, this event put forth by the WBC is, is, is great for women's boxing, but it also shows that somebody is out there going to beat the bushes and try to get women on cards. That's the main thing. I mean, right now in the United States especially, 
we're having a hard time just getting women on fight cards. I mean, we can't get big promoters, small promoters, medium promoters. We can't get any promoters to put women on cards. So it doesn't matter how good, good or bad the woman may be as a fighter. We just can't get her on. So now we're having the WBC kind of put a stamp on, hey, we're approving women's boxing. So hopefully it will make promoters step forward and have more women on the shows, more women, you know, more women involved in what they're doing. Um, it's going to be hard. I mean, it, it's not easy. You know, if it, were, if it were easy, everybody would do it. And that, that goes from the fight side and the promotion side. You know, it takes a, a strong person to be the promoter of a woman as well. Obviously, for female boxing um, to continue and prosper and grow, I believe um, the message today was sent loud and clear that feminine boxing uh, will continue to shine, and um, and you have a lot of people from all over the world supporting feminine boxing. So, Christy Martin uh, um, kind of put me on the ropes there, uh, but um, it, it really is it really is a pleasure for me to to soon uh, promote, promote uh, w women's boxing and, uh, and support them in whatever way I can. Women must be given their rights. And so boxing is a very vivid form that illustrates where the person that don't have an education is unlearned. They can see the physical prowess and they can take all of their problems and put it in there vicariously and try to solve their problems. And that's what I think that me and Christy Martin did, and Christy Martin broke through, got her on the cover of a Sports Illustrated. I got a, a, a BMW a given to her, you know what I mean? And, and to make things happen, to encourage her to do what she did best, and she was terrific. And so now we have uh, the first convention for the women, the same as it was in 1848 with Seneca, New York. So now we've got the first women's convention here with the WBC. I'm extremely proud of it. This event for me means a lot. Actually, it's very meaningful because uh, it's uh, the very first one ever event like this kind. And uh, I'm just pleased that I'm here. I'm living like a dream for me. It's like, am I awake? Am I sleeping? What is going on? I'm just enjoying this dream. This is a... Um, a reality and uh, this is a historic event because uh, the most important part in the, if the part in the convention besides being all together the, the the champions is also looking for what is best for the female fighters for the boxers there was a, a golden era for women's boxing in the US Christy Martin Mia San John and especially Lila Lee uh, it was the beginning of the interest. It was uh, some sort of uh, golden era because there were fights of women in Mike Tyson's undercard, in Julio Cesar Chavez's undercard. Laila Lee had uh, tremendous main events. So it was uh, some way uh, the beginning of boxing and it eventually uh, started falling out of the big fights, of the big cards. And eventually, it is very difficult to find female boxing in USA television. However, the quality, the, the passion, the real hard work from this woman uh, has been a really special moment for the history of the sport. Mexico, Argentina, Japan, Thailand, Korea, England, Germany, at one point, uh, there were German champions making 500,000 euros, almost a million dollars. So 
uh, Ina Menser, Regina Hamlich. Some of those, those are some of the examples. Uh, Lucia Riker was a sensational fighter. So the quality is there. And there are countries that have taken female boxing into the next level. And this, this convention is really to launch the new era for female boxing.